Right now, I want to go to our senior international correspondent, Sam Kiley. He's uh, near that nuclear power plant seized by the Russians. Sam, Ukrainian President Zelensky, he called that attack, uh, and I'm quoting him now, terror at an unprecedented level. What are you learning, first of all, about the situation there now? Well, uh, at the moment, uh, the Russians are saying that they seized it to pretend, prevent it falling or continuing to be in the hands of terrorists, as they put it. They're describing the Ukrainian authorities who've been running that power station for many decades now. Uh, they are currently uh, under uh, the control of the Russian uh, military. The uh, power station, according to the International Atomic Energy Authority, is OK. There has been no leak. Uh, it is functioning normally. There can be no shift change, though, with the people who are being held by the Russians there to run it. And, Wolf, we've just obtained video of uh, the, the, the moments before the uh, control room fell into Russian hands. Quite an extraordinary exchange uh, that I'd like to kind of... Uh, I think we've got, and we can play you. Uh, and if we can run that a bit, I can do a sort of... We've done a simultaneous translation. I just think this is an absolutely staggering moment when the fate of the planet boils down to an exchange between the control room of a nuclear power station and armed men shooting at it. So, Wolf, as, as this begins to unfold, he's saying, stop shooting immediately. You threaten the security of the whole world. The work of the vital organs of the Zaporizhia station may be disrupted. It would be impossible for us to restore it. And he goes on, you're endangering the security of the entire world. Attention. Stop shooting at the nuclear hazardous facility. Stop shooting at a nuclear hazardous facility. Stop shooting at a nuclear hazardous facility. Attention. Stop it.